Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for those of you who subscribe to the channel, for uh, those of you who've clicked like, posted comments. I really read all the comments and I, I try uh, as best as I can to answer your questions. So thanks for uh, participating in all that. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please uh, consider doing so and don't forget to hit that bell. Um, also, if, uh, if, if possible, uh, try to catch these videos when they premiere. If, if you subscribe, you should be getting an, an alert when a video is premiering. And if you do tune in and watch the video as it premieres, uh, what you're able to do is uh, comment in chat and ask questions in chat. And I'm, I'm there watching along with you guys. So it's like we're all watching the video together. So um, please, uh, please try and tune in for that. Just uh, subscribe and, and watch for the alerts. Okay, now what we're looking at today this is a Die Kitty Die Blank sketch cover, okay? It's a variant of a regular issue of Die Kitty Die, see? It's a regular copy of Die Kitty Die number one, but published with this nice heavy stock cover. It's a nice Bristol stock, nice um, smooth Bristol stock that um, makes it possible for us to draw on. So this is something a lot of comic book companies have been doing the last few years. Uh, if, if you aren't aware of them, uh, they print these blank sketch cover variants of their regular comics. And um, what they do is they sell them and fans will buy these covers. Uh, they'll buy these books and they'll go to conventions uh, and have all different artists. Sometimes it's the artist who's worked on the, the book itself, but it's, it, not necessarily. Uh, and they'll have artists just commission whatever they want. And it's a way of getting a very special, unique, very personal item um, on, on their cover. So I, I know uh, when I've done conventions, I, I've drawn on a ton of these. And... Um, I'm usually asked for really interesting stuff, so it's it's fun for all of us. Um, and actually, you, you could probably see some of the ones that I've done over on my website. If you go to FernandoRuizEverybody.com, look at my uh, the sketchbook page, the portfolio page, and you'll see uh, sketch covers that I've done. Now, this is a sketch cover uh, that I'm going to be drawing on. Uh, as it happens, one of our subscribers has requested that I draw a uh, uh, drawing of Kitty, uh, the main character of Die Kitty Die. And that's the series that uh, I co-created with my collaborator and pal, Dan Parent. Uh, the two of us uh, created Kitty together and we write and draw the book uh, together. Uh, and we've been... Um, lucky to uh have been able to keep it going through kickstarter uh we just put out the the third volume in the series die kitty die heaven and hell so if you're interested in die kitty die i recommend check out um die kitty die .com. and you could uh not only get all of the books there you could also get uh the new die kitty die figurine which is uh um turned out really nice and i'll be i'll be i might do a video on that too uh, very soon. But okay, so now I have to draw a, a kitty. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got my pencil. As I've said, I like to use a nice mechanical pencil, a 0.5 millimeter with an HB lead. I've got the nice blank paper. And what I'm going to do is very lightly sketch out my basic. I'm going to I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but I'm going to work a little bit darker than I normally would just so that you can see my lines. And I'm going to draw all over the figure. This is my underdrawing, okay? And Kitty, if you've never read the series, Kitty is this beautiful young witch who is also a comic book character. She has her own comic book series. And the premise of the book 
is that her publisher, much like many publishers and comics nowadays, they decide they want to spike sales by killing off their main character, who is Kitty herself. But the thing is, they want to go the extra mile and they want to kill Kitty in real life. So, of course, Kitty objects to that. And killing a witch is not as easy as it might sound, if it sounds easy at all. Now, I'm drawing Kitty's hand. I actually had a request for a video on how to draw hands, which I'm, I, I think would be a nice topic to cover. But very quickly, you see, I always say when I, I, I teach at the Kubert School, and I, hands is something I cover often because it's a very common problem. And what I say when I'm teaching uh, about hands is that it's not so much the hands themselves, but it's the fingers. The fingers are what give us the problem. And really, the secret to it, just take it a finger at a time. Just do it one finger at a time. And that's... Uh, that's in a nutshell, the secret to drawing hands. Okay, now one thing I always wanna do is, is not get too caught up in any one thing or jump into details way too soon. So, you know, work on all of the figure all at once. So I'm not here starting with the head and just doing a head and then working my way down. I'm working all over the figure. So, and yes, Kitty has a certain pin-up equality to her. She's a, a beautiful woman, a beautiful witch. And I'm going to give her an outfit, kind of reminiscent of the outfit her statue has is a bit revealing. I'm gonna go in, give Kitty her face. I always like to give her nice big eyes, which tend to make her a little cuter. And a bit more on the the sultry side as well. Her eyes are light. Kitty has nice green eyes. Little hint of a nose. And a smile. I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna soften her eyebrows because she's looking a little too evil. Kitty is not evil. Even though she's a witch, she's a good witch. And Kitty usually has her hair up. Give her a little skull in her hair. She likes she likes creepy things. She's a witch. Maybe some bat wings. Nope. Point broke there. That's when you're pushing down too hard. And then more of her hair. Usually Kitty's wearing her hair up, but sometimes Dan and I will play with all different styles. One of the one of the secrets of Kitty is Dan and I used actress Christina Hendricks as our model for Kitty as she appeared in uh, TV show Mad Men, which Dan and I both enjoyed. So that's her face. Usually, as I said, I, I like to jump around and not just focus on the face and then move down the head. Now, usually I'm, I'm moving all over the figure, but when I'm trying to be instructional, sometimes I will uh, dwell on one aspect of the figure at a time. And she's got an, 
another hand. Again, just taking it a finger at a time. Maybe give her a few bracelets. And Kitty's trademark is a little star beauty mark. So I'm gonna have that there. And maybe I'll give her one of these big pilgrim type belts. on her skirt. Maybe bring that out more. Again, in keeping with the uh, with the kitty figurine, maybe she is concocting a a ghostly skull. A magic. She's conjuring a magic ghostly skull. Starting to look like one of our characters, Dippy the Dead Kid. That's okay. Maybe it'll be Dippy. And of course, he's in love with Kitty because everybody is. Okay, so there we have pretty much our complete kitty in pencil i will be uh inking and coloring this for the the our commissioner the the buyer of this uh, piece um i don't know if i'm gonna make a video of those stages since I'd really like to get this done quicker and also too um I've, i think i've already done a couple of videos I've put you through coloring kitty already, so there's really no need to show you that again. Um, so that's it. I, I, I can keep tweaking her, but at some point you really gotta call it done. And I think I've uh, maybe a couple more bracelets. Kitty likes her bling. Okay, so that's it. That's the Die Kitty Die sketch cover. Next is inking it and then uh, coloring it, and uh, she'll be ready to go. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I will I will post the finished item. Uh, you, you'll probably see it on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram, and certainly uh, on Facebook. And of course, uh, once again, go to Fernando Ruiz Everybody .com and you will uh, see it there. Uh, and if anybody's interested in getting their own uh, sketch cover, um, please contact me through FernandoRuizEverybody.com or you could uh, email me at FernandoRuizEverybody at gmail.com and um, I'll be happy to uh, work something out. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, please, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please post them below. Okay? Thanks a lot, everybody. See you at the next one.